Hey everyone, today we're going to repair this broken down old bench, which I paid $39 for back in 2012, I think. So why am I saving it and not just replacing it? Well, a couple of reasons. Number one, the only benches I see in the market right now that I like are made of metal. And uh, that's, that's the main reason, really. Once you start getting into wood benches now, they start about... 150 and really for what I can fix this for it's not really worth it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy enough wood to replace some of this rotten wood uh, figure I need about 24 feet maybe 30 it's gonna be really expensive this is half inch wide by two inches so I'm not sure if that's gonna be two and a half by three quarters usually it's when you buy it it's oversize well we'll see when we get to the lumber yard anyway we're just gonna make a quick trip to home depot and i think this will be interesting and fun let's do this found the wood I was looking for. It's a one by threes and I selected four boards because they're just a dollar ninety-eight each. So this is what we're gonna use. Uh, it's really cheap wood and when you buy cheap wood you get what you pay for pretty much but you gotta go through the pile and just find the best pieces. That's the key. What we can see is this piece is actually a little bit longer than eight feet, which is interesting. It's about eight and three quarters. I need two four foot pieces, so I just went ahead and marked the four foot line right here. And you know, really it's just gotta be close. And I'm just gonna use this saw right here, just uh, quick and dirty. Pretty good fit. I probably want to go a little long on the others. So this one should be fine. That gives you a little bit of an idea of what it'll look like. Okay, so I went ahead and I marked the holes that I need to drill. And let's go ahead and do that. This is going to be fun holding the camera and doing this, so I'll do my best. Trying to get centered here. Okay, I just dropped it in the hole and it fit like a glove. Look at that.
perfect. And notice how the crown, see how the peak, the, the crown is facing upwards. That's what you want. So, yeah, that's gonna work out real nice. There are a couple of screws that I put in from the underside, like that, one here and one here. And that's gonna bring this crown down so it's all gonna match. Anyway, um, so we're looking for little screws, something like along the lines of this right here, this little screw here. And we're gonna use these to screw this piece down on the underside. And you can see right there, there's gonna be a, a hole, see that? And let's see, yeah, right there. We go through this hole here, like this. And that's gonna tie this piece down not completely, there'll be a, a little bit of a crown on the top, but that's that's okay because remember you're sitting down on it and uh, it, sh it should work out. Now these 1x3s are a little bit wider than the old pieces and I imagine they're just slightly thicker as well and that's actually a good thing. This bench will be stronger and it's going to last several more years, believe it or not. $39, great investment. All right, that worked out better than I thought. Check this out. So the screws are in and there's two. There's this one too. And look, it brought the crown down just like I thought, just like I was hoping. And it looks just great. Okay, so I'm done for today. This took me just a little while, pretty quick actually. Uh, I think it looks pretty good, fully upgraded, and I didn't have to replace all the slats of wood. Uh, it's strong enough for now, and uh, basically this is going into a corner in the back of the garden, and um, <laughs> you know the cats are actually going to use it to nap. It's a place for them to nap during the day uh, or night, and um, so yeah, I'm really happy with it, and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.